Hello, and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. We're going to check out the tarot cards for your zodiac sign for the month of June 2022. Are you ready? Let's get going. So we're going to bring out the tarot cards. Got the pendulum set up here. Have the cards ready to roll. And we're all set. This tarot card reading is for people born under the zodiac sign of Libra. Their birth dates run from September 23rd through October 22nd. This is for the month of June 2022. The strengths associated with Libra are cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, fair-minded, and social. The weaknesses don't get your feelings hurt. Indecisive, avoids confrontations, will carry a grudge and self-pity. Now remember, these are generalizations. So some, none, or all of these may apply to you. And only you know which ones really do. Now we'll get on with preparing for the reading. Move the pendulum off to the side a little bit here. And I'm going to shuffle the cards three times. Cut and shuffle. There we go. That's one. That's two. There's three. There's, we go. Now, with my left hand, because the left hand is associated with the right hemisphere of the brain, which is the intuitive side of the brain, I put the cards into a fan, and I will randomly select three with my left hand. So here we go. We've got one. We've got two. And we've got three. Here we go. The remaining cards put together in the deck. Set off to the side. These three selected cards come down here for your viewing. And for even better viewing, put the cards Close up for you to see. The first card represents what you need to let go of as a Libra for the month of June. And that card is the Ace of Cups. And we'll talk about the Ace of Cups in detail as soon as I get the other cards turned over. The second card, what you need to know as a Libra for the month of June. And we've got the King of Pentacles for that. The third card is Upcoming Opportunity. And we need to look into the Eighth of Cups for what our opportunities are for Virgo. And here we go. Let's talk about the Ace of Cups, which is representing let go. What to let go of for the month of June. The Ace of Cups represents inspiration, love relationship, fertility, renewal, happiness, insight. The ace is a sign of a fresh start, typically a new relationship. It is a good time to open the heart and accept what someone else has to offer. This card is in the what to let go position 
of this reading. Do not start up a new relationship in June. Do not have someone step in and win your heart and try to give you whatever. Put that on hold until July. If something like this pops up, just keep it at a simmer. Don't go anywhere with it. Just a kind of a nice friend for a while, right? Okay, see what happens in July. Because you've got things going on in June that this is not going to work for you. So, we move on to the next card. Which is what you need to know for June. And we'll look at the King of Pentacles for that. The King of Pentacles represents the masculine. Financially stable, content, educated, conservative. The king is a symbol of great success and wealth. He uses financial wisdom to also create wealth for others. You need to know that you are likely to be able to create wealth for others in some manner. So think about what's going on in your life. Now, that doesn't mean create wealth for someone and then you've got this whole new loving relationship and they're going to give you this and that. No, no. But you get the ball rolling perhaps by helping other people out with their financial. Give them the information they need. Point them in the right direction. You know this. Now, this card is masculine. That doesn't mean females cannot follow this advice. If you're a man, you've got some feminine qualities. If you're a woman, you've got some masculine qualities. That's the way it is. Testosterone, testosterone. We both got each, but one has more than the other, right? Okay, think about that. Now, we move on. We've got upcoming opportunity, which is brought to us through the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups represents unfulfilled, drained, focusing inward, spiritual seeker, change of heart. The Eight suggests abandoning a disappointing situation. There may be material accumulations, but it is time to seek deeper goals. Now, that's your upcoming opportunity, is to seek deeper goals. But you're not, it's not the time to do it with this nice, warm, giving relationship here. You're going to be able to help people out, especially financially. You're going to get them in the right direction. So you can see how your opportunity and what you need to let go, if you don't work it correctly, could clash, cause a big problem. So keep that in mind. Think about what's happening in your life. Now, that's all I have to say about these cards. So I'm going to double check with my pendulum. Show me yes. And the pendulum goes into a counterclockwise spin, indicating that my higher conscience is going to give me a yes by showing the pendulum circling in this direction. Show me no. And we have a clockwise circle for no, for a no answer. And now for the question. Has this tarot card reading for people born under the zodiac sign of Libra for the month of June been given for their best? Okay, and there we have a yes. So that means we've got the appropriate cards laid out here. The reading is appropriate. We're on track. 
I'd like you to know that I give private tarot card readings and or pendulum dowsing. If you're interested in that, send me an email to lyman.holton at yahoo.com. In the email, ask your questions. Tell me whatever information you think you want me to know, if any, and I will make a video of that reading and or dousing, and I will send you a private link to that so other people don't see it. After you view the video, you go to my YouTube channel on the top right portion of the page. You'll see a spot where it says donate to my channel. That is through PayPal. And what you do is you insert the amount that you think is adequate for what you got out of the reading. See there? You can't get hurt on this deal because there's no set charge. There's no set fee. You determine that. And I hope to hear from you. That's the end of this reading. I hope this was the best tarot card reading you've ever had. And that the month of June works out to be a wonderful month for you in the year 2022. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Good luck and goodbye for now.